Tête Reveniva, it's uh, just 74 kilometers long, but it's nevertheless the fourth biggest river in Europe in terms of water flow rate. What a useless fact! And what a coincidence, the fourth biggest river in the fourth biggest city of Europe. And there is the battleship Aurora, where I want to go now. So currently I'm at the battleship Avrora. It had a really important role in the Russian history, especially during the October Revolution. St. Petersburg is the second biggest city in Russia and the fourth biggest in Europe with a total population of 5,300,000 people. It is no typical Russian city because of the European architecture which dominates the cityscape. That's why it's also called the window to Europe. I'm at the Peter and Paul Fortress. It's probably the most important place in St. Petersburg because it's the birthplace of the city. Um, St. Petersburg was founded in 1703 by Peter the Great. That means the oldest building in the city is just about 300 years old. So really young city. but this time at the city beach and there's a really cool boat race going on So currently I am at the Strelka of the Vasilevsky Island and it's the perfect spot to have a look at the skyline of St. Petersburg. I'm right now at St. Asics Cathedral. It's the largest Orthodox and the fourth largest cathedral in the world. So number four is really magical number here in St. Petersburg. I really like this cathedral, it's so beautiful.
that's New Holland Island. It's one of the 101 islands uh, St. Petersburg was built on and I think it's really cool here. It's like a really modern park which has a really European style. I like it. Really new. Thank you for watching the St. Petersburg Troika. So, see you in the next vlog.